A pleasure to meet thee, Tarnished. I am the witch, Rena. I'd heard tell of a Tarnished hook. Has that roused thy interest? I see. But you must be Rani's new hireling. Yes, yes, I've heard all about you. I am Selavis. I reside in another tower close by. Come and pay me a visit. Perhaps I'll give you something to do. I'd like you to find a woman called Nefeli to administer a potion. Good, good. Now I shall hand over the potion in question. fine warrior. Your only mistake was your choice of master. Let the winds lift you. You should have it. Make good use of it. I don't intend to make a habit of scavenging corpses. Is that some kind of medicine? One that affects the heart, I'd wager. If it's what I think, I have no need of it. I am a warrior. I need no external aid. Not to brave the horrors of battle. Nor to bolster my resolve. It's about time I headed off. I'll see you again, warrior, should the fates deign it. Oh, it's you. Well, what do you make of it? What's happened to this village? Please, no! Dear me, I beg you. Would you look after this medallion? You must keep it out of the Cursemonger's hands. You. Please. Leave me be. It's pathetic, I know, but I... I need to think. Ah. You've already heard. Indeed. It seemed the whelp harbored suspicions. So I had no further use for her. Honestly. What's a man to do? A determined plebeian is more wicked than an omen horn. Quite frankly, I suspect that's just what the Queen wants. A dose of ambition to incite the tarnished. So you know already, do you? Right. It's true. My father cast me out for indulging my emotions. Forgetting the mission. Punishment for offing his pawns. Father. Mother. Lord Gideon has offered me guidance all my life. I would have done anything for him. To place him on the throne of Elden Lord. And yet I... Though it was not my intent, I betrayed him.
And I can no longer trust him, Father, to think he'd order his men to win. And I can no longer trust him, Father, to think he'd order his men to enact such tragedy. Where is the justice he purports in that? He once told me that if he became Elden Lord, he would never allow the downtrodden to be cheated ever again. Was he simply lying to me? No, no, no. How could I say that? Father has always given me his guidance. And now... I've lost it. Medicine, is it? Fine. I'll take a dose. Perhaps it'll do me some good. It's very sweet, isn't it? And very... very... Ah, so you made Nefeli drink the potion. Well done. You are a touch more useful than I had thought. Very well. Then you shall have your gift. Knowledge of the sorceress arts and of the tutelage of the great preceptor Selavis. I doubt much of it will lay within the grasp of a mere tarnished, but if you put your mind to it, perhaps you won't embarrass our lady. You wish to begin right this moment? Well, your impatience, though boorish, is understandable. Let's have at it. You break into a man's private chambers, rooting about as you please. Your oafishness knows no bounds. Fine and well. You tricked Nefeli and had her drink the potion. I believe that makes you my accomplice. You yearn for a puppet of your own, hmm? Well, normally one of your stature would never be allowed. But perhaps I can make a very special exception. Now, choose. What's that? You want another puppet? Quite the keen paramour, aren't we? But I'm afraid each and every one is like a child to me. I can hardly just give them away. Oh dear, what's to be done? Why don't you fetch me some starlight shards? If you can manage it, I'll gladly prepare a new puppet for you. The soul of every puppet has its own ambience. You'll soon come to know, once you possess a few. And once each's predilections are known to you, the better you'll be able to love them. Oh yes, you have much to look forward to further down this road. to be quite the puppeteer. I've not had an apprentice for a very long time indeed. Perhaps 
Perhaps you'd be interested in a little scheme of mine. It will produce the finest of puppets, which I aspire to cherish with these very hands. A ploy to fool even Lady Rani. How does that sound? I knew I had you pegged. You're just like me. Then I'd like you to procure something. A rather unique starlight shard that glistens with amber. With that, my special draft will gleam with nectar sweetness. And even a demigod would be slave to its charms. Procure it for me. The rather unique starlight shard that glistens with amber. With that, my special draft will gleam with nectar sweetness. And even a demigod would be slave to its charms. Still here? Ah, oh, yes, I, I should give you your reward. Yeah, please, it's all yours. It's splendid work, it's just marvelous. Now, just you wait. The merriment is soon to begin. The scheme I promised is to be revealed very shortly. I've been waiting for you. It's finally complete. The perfection of my draft, gleaming nectar sweet. Give it to Rani and ensure she drinks it. The dead-eyed doll lets down her guard in your presence rather remarkably. Though she might dip her hands in the dirt and feign that icy persona, she's a frail, gentle girl at heart. You understand, don't you? That once you have Rani drink my draft, my scheme will come to fruition. And we... Well... We'll be in a position to claim the very finest puppet ever crafted. Just imagine the pure elation. You understand, don't you? That once you have Rani drink my draft, my scheme will come to fruition. And we... This is a most unpleasant awakening. The depths of wickedness never fail to surprise me. I am saddened that thou wouldst succumb to such depravity. Led astray by Celevis with devious tonic in hand, didst thou think to have thy way with me? Be gone, hapless scum. I won't have another whiff of thy rotten breath. I have spoken away from my sight. This is the third time, fiend. Enough of thy unbearable breath. I... 
I'm shadowbound. Wherever Mrs. Rani goes, I follow. What a danger. You die here. Don't show your face again. Stay away from Mrs. Rani. Your worship, allow me to be of use. This is a most unpleasant awakening. The depths of wickedness never fail to surprise me. I take it you've heard of the eternal city of Noxtella? Well... Apologies, mate, but I don't have much to report. Ah, are you still here? Ah, oh, yes, I, I should give you your reward. Yeah, please, it's all yours. It's splendid work, it's just marvelous. that portion what I think it is? Bloody celibus. I suppose he's up to something again. Oh, I won't interfere. You go ahead and do what you must. The round table has no code to speak of. But, I ask you this. Are you really going to do the bidding of that twisted dolly botherer? Or, would you rather hand that potion to me and see if we can't get one over on the bastard? Well, I won't force you, but I think your plan would be a dreadful waste. She's not herself right now, and though I have no need of her, she still has potential. Certainly more value than she'd have as a bloody puppet. Good. I'll dispose of the potion myself. You go and see Salamis, but don't give anything away. Just tell him that you tricked your mark into drinking the potion, as planned. Despite knowing next to bloody nothing, he's so far up his own ass he won't suspect a thing. His inevitable display of arrogance will certainly be a sight to behold. Ah, so you made Nefeli drink the potion. Well done. <laughs> So, you had Nefeli drink the potion? Truly? Hmm. 
Then perhaps something was amiss with it. It's concocted from the finest ingredients, but perhaps I should review the recipe. I may have expected too much of her to begin with. Choose. felt the curse with your whole being the pox upon life itself feared and despised by all the reviled blessing <sighs> apparently not you are but a lamb a stranger to defilement ignorant of your own ignorance you no longer interest me I've been long without peace. Don't spoil my quietude. I asked you not to disturb me. Be thankful of the whole serenity. It is all that keeps your death and defilement at bay. felt the curse. I can smell it on you. The box, yet tender. Apparently my seed bed is ripe and waiting. It was a brief respite, I must say. Go and unshackle my corporeal flesh, trapped in the sewer jail below the capital. I can kill you and defile your corpse then the pox will truly be your own. matters to you for generations to come. I am the Dung Eater, a scourge upon the living.
coming off. I will kill again. And defile each corpse with care. Just to be sure that when they're reborn, they'll be cursed. Along with their children and their children's children for all time to come. He's a madman. Has it out for everyone. Curses him. Goes round in his rank armor and all. You see him, though. Stay. There you are. You warded off my blessing, despite the curse stirring within you. No one has succeeded in that before. How? I thought. Then it hit me. That you are, in fact, me. And I am the Dung Eater. It is my flesh that must receive the blessing. Give me your blessing. Defile my flesh with the seed bed curse again and again until it is done. Until a cursed ring coalesces. And my one day defile order itself. Countless I have killed. And countless I have defiled. And soon the fruits will be born. Hundreds will be reborn cursed. And they'll bear thousands of cursed children. Who bear tens of thousands more. A few of those will be born just like me. And they'll kill and defile. And bless in my stead, the rotten fools. My fate was the grandest, most brilliant of them all. So you made Nefeli drink the potion. Oh, 
No. Begging for another lesson so soon? Ugh, there remains much to be done. Make it quick.